channel. On today's video, we're going to be doing a vlog in Halifax. I'm currently staying for four days in Halifax and I wanted to show you guys around, so I thought I would do a short little vlog. staying in Halifax, of course I went and checked out Twinkle Forest. They have a lot of gachapon machines which is really awesome and there's a ton of series on display which is really cool and there's so much variety of blind boxes. They definitely have a lot more in person they do on their online shop. There's so much to look at. And it looks like they have a lot of full boxes too. If you really like ordering full boxes, they definitely seem to have a lot. I would just love to be able to go to a blind box store every day and, and pick out something to unbox. And I just love the displays. They are just so awesome. I really love them. So I thought I would give you just a tour around the store. And my favorite thing is definitely all of the blind boxes that are on the loose so you can see what the figures look like if you want to buy that series. And all of the amazing displays. The owner is so creative. The displays are so well done. I really love them. I hope I show them off to the best of my ability because I just love everything in this store. The owner is so nice and the displays are so well done. She's super creative. It's just awesome to see all of the displays in person and to have a look at all of the blind boxes. There's so much variety. All the colors look incredible. I have a feeling if I was near Twinkle Forest, I would probably buy a lot more blind boxes than I do now. And I buy a lot, so that's saying something. And this was just a, a basic tour of the store, but I do have more of the store coming up later in the video as well. This is just the first day I went, and as you can see, there's just so much here. It's not a big store, but there's so many blind boxes. I was really surprised with how much was actually here. And again, the loose figurines are just such a nice touch. It was so nice to look at them. It actually maybe convinced me to buy a few series. This was my first time visiting Twinkle Forest and I had so much fun here. And this little clip here at the end is just me picking out Sweet Dream Hotel blind boxes. It's so nice to be able to shake them. I usually go for the heaviest one. Later on the video, I will show you what I picked up. I would show you guys the cute demo bag I got from Popmart as a freebie a few months ago. So the first side of it has these two pouches. So up here I have like mascara and lipstick and then here I have a bunch of pencils for like eyebrows and lip liner and that type of stuff. So we have that side there. And then this side is the brush holder. I have way too many brushes in here. I don't know why I brought so many. Oh, it looks like I have a glitter stuck on me too. Don't know where that came from, but this is the brush holder, which is super convenient, works super well, and it's really easy to put your brushes in. And then we have this bigger pouch here. I don't have much in it just because we were flying, so I didn't want to bring too much, but I have like an hourglass palette, I have another palette here, Too Faced palette here, then I have a bunch of blushes here, a highlighter combo from Anastasia, a Marc Jacobs palette, and then just an individual eyeshadow pot, a highlighter from Becca, and yeah, just some random bits and bobs like primer and corrector here. And it fits everything really well. You can get a lot in here and still have room. So I'll show you what it's like all zipped up. 
I don't know if I'll be able to do this with one hand. I don't think they sell this, but if they do it as a freebie again, I definitely think it is really worth it. And <laughs> it's super cute. All right, let me show you here. And it has a handle at the top, which is really convenient. And yeah, that's just my Demu makeup bag that I got as a freebie. And I've used it on two different trips and it's super useful and I think might be my favorite makeup bag. It is a soft bag, of course, so you have to be really careful. I pack this around all my clothes and stuff, so I don't have to worry about like my eyeshadow or blushes shattering if they get like knocked about. So before I packed all of my blind boxes from Twinkle Forest, I thought I would do a haul. So the first box I got was Sanrio Characters South Island and this was from Pop Mart and on the Twinkle Forest website you could only buy this in person so I had to pick up a box. I'm really excited to check it out. And the second box I got was an impulse buy. It is Momoko I believe and it is from Lone Pine and this is actually a felted figure which is what made me pick it up. It's this cute little rabbit. And I also got the new Laura 
Core Art Pool Party Blind Box. I bought some of these already, but I had to pick up one more. This box as well was kind of a surprise. It is called Monster Planet and I saw it in store and it was really cute so I wanted to pick it up and it is just adorable. And then I got another Emma pin blind box and I'm really excited to get a second one of these. And I also got another Shin Wu and this is the Sweet Dream series. I'm on the hunt for the one on the front and this is another one that I've seen on the website before but I didn't pick it up and I was really curious about it and it is Pico Pig and this is the Christmas series. They actually came out with a new one for this year but this is actually last year's one I believe and I'm so excited to unbox this for Christmas. And these are all the items I bought on the first day at Twinkle Forest. But I did go to Twinkle Forest more than once so let's go ahead and have a look at the clips from the second day I went there. So I'm just showing you in this video the awesome Christmas tree that the owner made using blind box figures and accessory stuff and it is such a cool idea. I definitely think I might do this with my Christmas tree. It is so cute. And here's a last look at Twinkle Forest and the displays. I really wanted to show more of the displays that the owner has made. It was so nice to talk to the owner about blind boxes and about display ideas. And it was just so nice talking to somebody who loves blind boxes as much as me. Probably even more because she owns a store. And she had her cat here on the second day and it was so nice meeting the cat. I love meeting new cats. And the cat is so gorgeous. And thank you so much to the owner of Twinkle Forest. It was so much fun going and I had such a great time talking to her. And it was a great way to end our trip. Our last day there, we were only there for the afternoon. So shortly after going to Twinkle Forest, we headed off to the airport. And when we got to the airport, they told us that our flight was delayed by a few hours, so we had to hang out at the airport. So we watched a few planes take off and land, which was really fun. And then we got on our own flight to go back home. I've been having a really rough time this year. Two years of not being able to travel and hang out with my friends and family who don't live where I live has really impacted me. So it was so fun to get out of our city and just get to enjoy somewhere else, even if it was just for a few days. I've been to Halifax once before, and me and my partner really loved it so we couldn't wait to go back and I'm so glad we had the chance to go. I think it definitely made both of us feel a lot better and it was just really nice to get out of town. Especially because right now we don't drive so taking a plane or taking a train is pretty much the only way we can get out of our house. And I'm just gonna leave you with the music to end off the video. I do have quite a lot of footage of the plane going through the clouds which I thought was really cool. I hope you really enjoyed this vlog and let me know down below if you would like more videos like this on my channel. It was my first time shooting a vlog and I was really nervous to do so. One of the days it completely rained the whole day so I didn't get any footage that day and I took a ton of pictures so it was really hard to remember to film but I think it would be fun to shoot more vlogs in the future but let me know down below.